Game out. Titanic. Okay. Others might say she and my stories were all time. So, let's begin. Time. So long ago, people with high tech submarines were searching the wreck of the Titanic for lost treasure when they found a picture of a woman wearing a massive jewel around her neck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That She's the main character. Yeah, I No, I'm pretty sure I am. The submarine dudes figured out Rose was alive, right? And they called her in to tell her a really long story about how she cheated on her husband and manipulated a penniless man <laughs> named Jack into drawing her portrait for free? It's my great time to Death in the water? Um. And then at the end of the movie, it's revealed she actually had the huge jewel those submarine guys wanted the entire time. Titanic 2. Rose goes full psycho. Rose passes away peacefully at the end of Titanic. Spoiler alert. The devil himself like sneaks creepy. out into heaven! Gotta say, this is quite the departure from the original rom-com. And why would Rose want to sneak into heaven, you ask? Um, because it's heaven? Because Jack is there! Oh, and she wants to apologize? Psh, get real. The biggest psychopath the world has ever known is gonna apologize? That chance pair. She wants to see Jack so she can screw him. It's heaven and hell. Tell them there's... Well, Congrats, sis. You did it. You wrote a movie about the single biggest psychopath the world and the afterworld has ever seen. Rose, you're awesome, hey! Big a psycho! Hey, come here. What? Wait a second. Nice! Huh? No, no!